Hi friends, welcome to Gauri Smart Channel. So there I am going to explain sets. In the sets, in poly set, you will get 4 to 5 marks. So listen and carefully and you will get definitely 4 to 5 marks. What is meant by set? A well-defined collection of objects is called set. A well-defined. The definition should be well. Means we should define well. So then only it is called set. So example, A is equal to A, A, O, U and B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and E is equal to 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. 2, uh, 2 4, 6, 7, 8. So set theory, set theory was developed by George Cantor. So he is German scientist. So he is, he is only developed the set theory. Sets are generally denoted by capital letters. So sets are denoted by capital letters. In the sets, the elements are denoted by small letters. In the elements are denoted by small letters. Means lowercase. So every set is a collection, but every collection need not be set. Every set is a collection, but every set need not be a set. So example. Examples for non-well defined. Group of good students in a class. So in my student, in my class. Good students, how can you define? So if you if you define one student is good, the other time is not good. So it is not a set. Group of beautiful girls in my class. So today is a beautiful girl, tomorrow is ugly girl. So we can't say always a girl is beautiful. So it is not a set. Group of capitals in India. So group of capitals in India. So in India, group of capitals, if you if in this time so it is capital so it may be changed so that's why it is also not a set roster form of a set the elements in the set are separated by commas and closed by flower brackets is called roster form or list form means in the set the elements we are writing those elements should be separated with commas and we should keep flower brackets we should keep flower brackets then it is called roster form or list form so example set one two three four five B is equal to two four six two two four six four uh, two comma four comma six comma eight comma ten means these are all separated with commas and flower brackets. Next set builder form. Whatever you are writing roster form, that if you write in formula form or standard form, that is called set builder form. So roster form or list form can be converted into a single comma properties means single common property or formula. As in the formula, then the form is called set builder form. Example, so now above what I have given, that is only given I am giving, so down is given, all of you listen, so see here, roster form, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, means 5 natural numbers, means I have written A is equal to set of X such that X belongs to N, means natural numbers, what natural numbers from 1 to 5, means 1 less than or equal to X less than or equal to 5. Next, sir. second one is I have given even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So that is I am giving the formula form. B is equal to set of x such that x is an even number where 1 less than or, 1 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 10 means uh, so even number that should be between 1 and 10. So 1 less than x less than or equal to 10 or x such that x belongs to e. 2n, 2n means even number formula. So 1 less than or equal to n less than or equal to 5. So if you substitute 1, it is 2. If you substitute 2, it is 4. If you substitute 3, it is 6. If you substitute 4, it is 8. And if you substitute 5, it is 10. Now, empty set or null set or white set. So everything is same. A set which has no element, a set which has no element, that is called empty set. That is called empty set or null set or white set. So example, number of boys in women's college. So women's college, no boys are there. So it is an empty set. Natural numbers less than 1. So natural numbers are starting with 1. So there is no less than 1. So it is also empty set. Empty set is denoted by pi. So pi is a name, Scandinavian alphabet. Scandinavian alphabet. So in the, they may ask, what is the pi alphabet name? So Scandinavian empty set is a subset of every set because every set empty set is starting so empty set is an subset of every set so pi is equal to set of single means uh, no elements in the set so this is wrong pi is not equal to set of single and zero because it's both are not equal because zero is an element is there so zero is an element is there so we should not say so pi is equal to set of uh, singleton zero or pi is not equal to singleton of pi because pi is an element we are considering so it is also not equal 
singleton set singleton set is nothing but only one element is there in a set then that is called single set a set which has having which is having only one element in this call singleton set so example even prime numbers so so many prime numbers are there in this so many prime numbers only one number is there that is only even number two next cardinal number of sets the number of elements in the finite set is called cardinal number of sets means whatever the set we are taking in the set the countable numbers should be there means you you have you are able to count the numbers that that is called cardinal number of sets it is denoted by n of a example so i am considering a is equal to a b c a b d e f so 1 2 3 4 5 so n of a is equal to 5 equal sets every element of a is an element of b and every element of b is an element of a then the number of elements are equal then a and b are equal sets every element of a is an element of b every element of b is an element of a then number of elements of a and b are equal then only call it is equal sets so means a subset b and b subset a that means a is equal to b so here example a is equal to a b c d and b is equal to b d c a means uh, order is uh, different but elements are same number of the elements are same so those are called equal sets those are equal sets so a is equal to b equivalent sets equivalent sets and equal sets difference is nothing so number of the elements are same that those are called equivalent sets number of the elements and elements are same that is called equal sets that's small difference if you observe you can easily understand so the number of elements of two or more sets are equal then the sets are called equivalent sets example you can easily understand see here 1 2 3 4 a b c d these are equivalent sets here a b c d and b d c a these are equal sets it is joined by a similar to b next every equal sets are equivalent sets but every equivalent sets need of the equal sets so every equal sets are equivalent sets but every equivalent sets are not need not be equal sets subset if every element of a is also an element of b then a is called subset of b if every element of a is also an every element of b then a is a subset of b so that is a subset b if a is subset of b it is denoted by a subset b if b is called then then b is called superset of a and it is denoted by b superset of a we have to read as b superset of a if n of a is equal to n means in the set a n elements are there then number of subsets of a is 2 power n 2 power n means if three elements are there eight elements uh, if uh, a element three elements are there then subsets is eight two cube so like that if n of a is equal to n then number of non-empty subsets is 2 power n minus 1 so we are saying non-empty means empty set we have to subtract means 2 power n minus 1 if n of a is equal to n then the number of proper subset of a is 2 power n minus 1 so proper subset means so we are uh, taking um, whatever the set is at that set we are taking so that is called proper subset if n of a is equal to n then the number of non-empty proper subsets a is 2 power n minus 2 means we are eliminating a and we are eliminating empty set that's what 2 power n minus 2 these four important errors are very very important for poly set so remember this four now proper subset if a is a subset of b and a not equal to b means whatever the elements present in a should present b and those not equal those two sets are not equal then a is called proper subset of b means a subset b and a not equal to b then a is proper subset of b so example if x such that x is in a prime number which is lying between 30 and 40 the number of subsets of a is so 30 and 40 how many prime numbers will be there 31 and 37 so two elements are there so logically they are asking application they are asking two elements are there so number of subset means two square two square means four very easy problem the number of non-empty proper subsets of set a is one zero two two then the number of elements in of a so one zero two two means two power and minus two is equal to one zero two two so minus two bring to that set means one zero 2 4 1 0 2 4 is nothing but 2 power 10 so 2 power n is equal to 2 power 10 so 2 to cancel then n is equal to 10 that is the answer the sum of the subsets and proper subsets of a is 63 then the number of elements in a so the number of this subs the sum of the subsets and proper subsets of a, a is 63 so then number of the elements of a so answer is 5 
how this answer is five so number of this subsets 2 power n plus proper subsets proper subsets 2 power n minus 1 so is equal to 63 so minus 1 bring to that side that is 64 2 power n 2 power n is 2 2 power n so this can be written as 2 power n plus 1 so 64 means 2 power uh, 2 power 6 so 2 power n plus 1 is equal to uh, means n plus 1 is equal to 6 uh, plus 1 bring to that side so minus 1 so 6 minus 1 is 5 so n is equal to 5 power set the set of all subsets of a set is called power set means uh, whatever the subsets you are taking that if you keep in a set separate sex separate set that set is called power set so example a is equal to a comma b then the power set p of a is equal to set of a set of b set of a b and pi if p of p of p of a is equal to 16 the number of elements of a is 1 means uh, 2 power 16 so again uh, 1 1 by 4 so uh, everything will be cancelled then answer is 1 if n of a is equal to n then the number of elements in the power set is 2 2 power n here also 2 power n because uh, power sets all subsets we are writing in a set so it is a power set universal set the set of all subsets for the fixed region or class or some situation is called universal set. It is generated by mu. For situation, for any situation, for any region, if you consider set of all sets, so thus all sets in a one set, that is called universal set. So example, school is a universal set for all classes. All classes, if you consider, so that is a universal set. Andhra Pradesh is the universal set because all states are there in Andhra Pradesh. My family is universal set for all members in my family. Complement set. The set of all elements present in mu but not in the given set is called complement set of the given set. The set of all elements present in mu means universal set they are presenting but they are not presenting what I am taking that set. So that is called complement set of the given set. So a complement or a, a, a power c is equal to mu minus a. That is the deno, uh, denotion of complement. Union of sets. The combination of all elements of a and b is called union of sets. Means we are taking all elements in a set which are repeating or which are not repeating we don't bother but we are writing all elements in a set that is called union of sets a union b is equal to this is the formula for union set so remember a union b is equal to set of x such that x belongs to a union b implies x belongs to a or x belongs to b either this or that venn diagram for this see here all means uh, all venn diagrams should be covered with uh, shaded with pencil intersection of sets the common elements of A and B is called intersection of sets A and B. So means uh, what are the elements you are taking that should present in A and should present in B. The formula for A intersection of sets is A intersection B is equal to set of X such that X belongs to A intersection B implies X belongs to A and X belongs to B. This is a Venn diagram. See here both lines should be there means uh, arrow should be there and uh, vertical line should be there. That is only called A intersection B. Next. Design sets. It's very easy design sets. Design sets means no common elements should be present in what we are taking that sets. Means A and B are called design sets. If they have no common elements, no common elements, then only it is called design sets. Example A is a boys and B is a B is girls. So, boys and girls, no common elements. So, this is the design sets. So, the set of even numbers, the set of odd numbers is called design sets. The set of boys and the set of girls in the classroom, already told. If A comma B are design sets, then A intersection B is equal to pi. Means no common elements. That's why empty set. If A comma B are design sets, then N of A intersection B is equal to 0. No elements now, so 0 elements. Next, if A comma B are design sets, then N of A in and B is, means N of A in and B formula is N of A plus N of B. This is most important because minus N of A intersection B will not be there. So, it is 0. If A comma B are not design sets, then this is the main formula. N of A in and B is equal to N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. If A, B, C are not design sets, then N of A in and B in and C is equal to N of A plus N of B plus N of C minus N of A intersection B minus N of A intersection C minus N of B intersection C plus N of A intersection B intersection C. This is the most important formula. Difference of sets. If A and B are two sets, the elements which are present in A but not in B, then 
that is called difference of a and b it is denoted by a minus b. means what are the two sides you are taking a minus b means the elements would present in a only should not present in b if if you take b minus a the elements would present in b only should not present in a that is called a minus b and b minus a so this is for formula x a minus b is equal to x such that x belongs to a minus b implies x belongs to a and x dot belongs to b this is a venn diagram so venn diagram whatever the set first set you are taking that is only should draw the remaining should not draw symmetric difference of a and b the union of a minus b and b minus a is called symmetric difference of a and b it is unit by a delta b means a minus b you find b minus a find this two union you find then that is called symmetry so a delta b is equal to a minus b union b minus a another formula is a delta b is equal to a union b minus a intersection b a union b minus a intersection b this is the venn diagram next principle of duality in any law of sets the interchanging mu and pi union and intersection is called principle of die principle of duality means uh, duality means two we are changing what are those mu and pi and intersection and union wherever you find mu you write pi wherever you are finding intersection you write uh, union like that if you change that is called principle of duality see here a union pi is equal to a so if i change the formula will not change if i change mu u union i'm changing intersection pi i'm changing mu so a union pi is equal to a result is a only a intersection mu is equal to a that is also a only so there is no change the result the third it is duality number of maximum minimum elements so this is most very important so all of you listen clearly clearfully uh, i'm taking a, in a set a as five elements and set b three elements so the number of maximum number of elements a and b if i find a and b if i take different different elements so 5 plus 3 8 means the maximum number of elements is 8 so in a union b the maximum number of elements is 8 because i am taking different different elements 1 2 3 4 5 a b c so so i am taking so that's what it is calling it is getting getting the answer 8 the minimum number of elements in a and b is 5 now listen a a b c d a b c d e and b a b c so if i find union i will i will get a b c d e so 5 only means minimum number of elements in n of a and b is 5 next the maximum number of elements in n of a intersection b intersection b means uh, so maximum elements intersection uh, so here a b c d e here a b c so if i find intersection a b c is the answer a b c means how many elements three elements one two three so that's what maximum number of elements in a intersection b is three only you can't find more than three so now minimum number of elements in a intersection b is zero how so in the first example i had taken one two three four five and a b c so if i find intersection there is no uh, there is no common element so answer is zero answer is zero next the minimum the minimum number of elements in so a intersection b is zero next the maximum number of elements in a delta b so you have to uh, add 5 plus 3 so means a and b a minus b and b minus c if you find after that if you find union you will get answer 5 plus 3 is a shortcut so how many elements are there those you add simply 5 plus 3 is 8 the minimum number of elements in a, a delta b means uh, 5 minus 3 means uh, maximum value minus minimum value you do you will get the answer so 5 minus 3 is the answer 2 so this is the sets important concept now next videos i will give you most important models in sets also shortcuts in sets also one video is there that is also i will upload within two days so all of you follow my videos and say to your all friends explain and uh, get good marks and discuss with uh, these concepts definitely you will get good rank uh, either two digit or one digit definitely single digit double digit you will get in government polling college you will get so see it so definitely share my videos and subscribe make all friends your subscribe my channel thank you thank you very much